Two students face charges in Tuesday's shooting outside Catonsville High School. One of the suspects is 18 year old Sean Potter Jr. He faces several charges, including attempted first degree murder. The other person arrested is a minor. According to charging documents, the 16 year old victim and a friend were walking to their car. They noticed a white SUV parked nearby with two people inside. The victim said the pair flashed their guns. The four then got into a fight after that and the victim was shot. Governor Hogan will not run for the Senate in the upcoming 2022 election. Instead, he says he wants to focus on finishing up his term as governor. My current job as governor runs until January of 2023. Uh, and then we'll take a look and uh, see what the future holds after that. But for now, I'm going to keep working hard over this next year. And I plan to run through the tape at the finish next January. There are five people running in the Republican primary for Senate. The 2022 Senate election will likely pit the winner against Democratic incumbent Chris Van Hollen. And speed cameras are going up along the JFX. The Department of Transportation crews will be putting up six cameras over the next two weeks. Drivers can expect delays as they're put in place. Lane closures will start at 9 o'clock each morning and around 3 in the afternoon. Only two cameras will be active at any given time. The city expects the cameras to bring in about a million dollars a month and you'll get advance notice and get a three month grace period before the fines go into full effect. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Well, 12 years ago this week, we were actually dealing with Snowmageddon 2010. Two different winter storms really just opening up the floodgates and dumping several feet of snow. The first event happened on the 5th and 6th. We got two to three feet and then a few days later, an additional one to two feet with widespread blizzard conditions. That's reduced visibility, caused lots of accidents. Motorists were stranded. Cars were buried under multiple feet of snow. And of course, that led to travel disruptions. By the time this event was over, we saw 50 inches of snow recorded at BWI for the entire month of February. That's the snowiest February on record. So much snow that they have to use a snow dragon to melt the snow. All right, Patrick, click with us online uh, for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello.